Hey guys, welcome back to Review Rounder Tech YouTube channel. After doing the camera comparison of uh, Moto G5S Plus with Xiaomi Mi A1, today I am here to do an in-depth review of uh, Xiaomi Mi A1. See, the only reason I am doing an in-depth review of this Xiaomi Mi A1 is just one reason. I got many feedbacks that uh, the Xiaomi Mi A1 performance was not up to the mark after updating to the Oreo. So, just now I have updated my Sha Mi A1 mobile to Oreo. So, let us see how was the performance of uh, Mi A1. So, myself, I am Prem from Review Rounder, guys. Let's go. I made this Mi A1 review only to check out overall performance after Oreo update. As usual, before heading into the review, let us see Mi A1's key features and specs at a glance. Mi A1 Specifications Display The display of Mi A1 is 5.5 inch or 13.9 cm RAM which is comprised with 4GB of RAM Storage And it has a storage of 64GB of internal memory Battery A battery of 3080mAh is equipped to it Security With security set of options such as rear fingerprint sensor, face unlock and voice unlock Processor a processor of 625 octa-core Snapdragon is embedded to it with Adreno 506 GPU clocking at 650 MHz. Camera Dual Camera Coming to camera segment, Mi A1 got 12 megapixel wide-angle lens and 12 megapixel telephoto lens. The front camera has 5 megapixel front camera. Video recording 4K, 1080p, 720p video at 30 fps. More about camera performance and its review, find the link below in the description. And the available colors are red, black, gold and rose gold. That's all about basic features and specs of Xiaomi Mi A1. Let us step into the review now. So here is the Oreo updated Mi A1 smartphone. While facing the display, on the right hand side, you will find a power button and a volume rocker. Here is the 3.5mm audio jack, mic, Type-C USB cable and the speaker grill. And on the left hand side, only the SIM tray is placed. If we observe at the end side of Mi A1 smartphone, you can see dual camera with flash beside it along with the fingerprint sensor at the center. On the front display, a sensor, camera and earpiece speaker are placed along with the touch sensitivity navigation keys. That's all about the physical appearance of Xiaomi Mi A1 smartphone. Now we'll check out by using one by one of its features. When you do swipe like this, you can see the status bar where access for brightness adjustment, Wi-Fi on and off, mobile data, flashlight. You can customize ample of shortcuts by tapping here like this. For example, let me drag this location and drop here and also this screencast. And when you do this bottom up approach, you can see the pre-installed and installed apps. Firstly, we'll do check out the software information. Tap on the system. Here are options, language and input. You can set date and time, backup switch. You can check if there are any system update, reset, about phone and system UI tuner. Let us check the system update. My smartphone system update is up to date and updated to Oreo 8.0.0 and the recent security patch level updated on January 1st, 2018. If we look at about phone, status, legal info, regulatory labels, model number, android version, security patch level, baseband version, likewise all software information provided here. Here is the audio update, the Optimus Jellyfish. So this is the phone information of Mi A1 smartphone. And the status option in the menu states the battery status, battery level, SIM status, IMEI information and Wi-Fi MAC address, Bluetooth address, etc. What is this system UI tuner? The system UI tuner is nothing but you can do customization to the status bar. This is Google account preference settings option. The me service is that to improve the product services and diagnose them. Accessibility. Select screen to speak. If you enable this select to speak, you can hear loud when you tap on any specific item on your screen. Magnifier. Magnification is that you can magnify your screen. If you tap three times and by using two fingers, zoom by pinching with two fingers. I'll do it and show you an example of it, how it works.
Now, let us check out security functions of Xiaomi Mi A1. Google Play Protect. It will notify you if your apps are affected or will notify if any security risk found. As per my observance, it seems every smartphone company is adapting latest features from Apple. For example, this Find My Device feature, if your device is lost, this Find My Device will help you to locate and keep your data safe. Security Update It is the update of security patch level. If we observe screen lock in this device security features, it is automatic lock, which you can customize in how many seconds or minutes the phone should get locked. Lock screen preferences. This feature helps you to customize whether to show the content or not as if your screen is locked. So you can see three options over here. Don't show notification, show notification and hide sensitive notification. Fingerprint sensor. It's been a common feature in every smartphone. But the major concern is how accurately does the phone gets unlocks is the major concern. By the way, you can add multiple fingers to unlock as already I have added my finger. So let us test the unlock speed. This is the fingerprint sensor. Let me lock the device, lock, unlock, lock, unlock, the phone get unlocked in microseconds. In addition to this, Mi A1 got face recognition and voice recognition to unlock. As per my opinion, the user usability to unlock any smartphone is by using fingerprint, smart lock. Here, different forms of unlocking factors are embedded with Mi A1. On body detection, trusted places, trusted devices, trusted face and trusted voice. We'll do face unlock setup and check out. I will add my face. Yes, I have done. Also, we'll assign the voice unlock feature to it. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Okay, the setup was done. Let me check out once. When I say, okay, Google, the phone gets unlocked, but the feature worked only once. Again, I locked and checked, but the feature doesn't work well. So, let us use face recognition to unlock the phone. No, the face unlock feature is not at all working. It seems that because of Oreo update. The Mi A1 stuck working with some security problems. Onbody detection. This onbody detection will unlock your device when it is on you. Let me enable this and show you. See, I have enabled it. This is a notification that tells you if not only you, anybody else can take your device and can do unlock. See, I have locked the device by pressing the power button. Again, if you press the power button and swipe up, the phone gets unlocked. Here is the storage information which contains 64 gigabytes of onboard memory. Here, no need to download third-party apps such as CC Cleaner or 360 degree security. You can directly free up the space by tapping on it. You can also optimize your battery with power management options. You can find when was your smartphone was fully charged and the screen using since full charge. Benchmark test. Let us check out the benchmark test. I have used benchmark test tools such as CPU-Z and Antutu. Here is the CPU-Z result. This is the SOC information showing how many cores and architecture information etc. Device information, system information, battery information, thermal information and sensors. These are the sensors Mi A1 consists of. Now we'll test Antutu. Here is the overall score of Antutu which is 63949. Video. Now, we'll play a video and check out the audio exhibiting. Okay, the sound clarity was somehow good. Gaming test. I have played two games, Asphalt 8 Airborne and Modern Combat. Here is the Modern Combat game I always love to play. And this is Asphalt 8 Airborne.
oh my god the phone produces too much heat while playing the game but there were no stack or interruptions while playing the game camera just have a look at the sample shots of Mi A1 or a glance. The shots taken in daylight and low light. For more camera review along with the comparison, check out the link provided below. Let's have a look on pros and cons. Pros. The physical design and appearance is awesome. Camera. It captures closed object pictures in daylight and depth of field was excellent. When we talk about Mi A1 individually, the camera performance is okay. But as I compared with Moto G5 S Plus camera, the Mi A1 was not up to the mark where you can consider it as a con. Now check out the cons. Phone gets warmer quickly. Bad audio capture output when capturing the video. Depth of field is not possible in low light conditions. There is no front flash too. Verdict My opinion is that after updating to audio, the Mi A1 failed in phone security features such as face and voice and the phone gets warmer quickly. So. As of now, opting Mi A1 is not suggestible, but we should wait for another update of Mi UI. Either in that update, the issues might get resolved. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you have any queries with regards to this video, kindly drop in the comment section so that I can resolve your queries. Before signing off, kindly give your thumbs up if you like the video or thumbs down if you didn't. And kindly like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.